Senator Martha McSally in Southern Arizona today continuing to fight for change when it comes to sexual assault. They're very difficult to prosecute in the civilian world and in the military. Uh, they're very complex. Uh, they're very personal, as I know this very well. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Valerie Cavazos. Senator McSally has been advocating for change since revealing last month she had been raped while serving in the Air Force. She says a lot has changed in 10 years, but more needs to be done. Here's Nine on Your Side's Natalie Taranjoli. Senator Martha McSally at Davis Monthan Air Force Base today, talking about a personal topic, military sexual assault. This post from her Twitter shows her meeting with commanders. If you have individuals in our military that are assaulting each other, the impact that that has on our individuals, each of them has a job in these squadrons, the impact that that has on them is devastating personally. McSally says the impact on victims is so severe, it's almost like a service member not getting the right equipment or training. The senator says she's focused on speeding up the process for victims from when it's reported to the investigation and the prosecution. Uh, we've got to quickly uh, identify who they are. We've got to route them out. Uh, we've got to have due process. We've got to support the victims. And we just need to be able to improve things for our military, for our teams of airmen here. McSally says many of the bases she's visited lack the manpower that is needed for investigators and special victims counsel. But Davis Mothin is doing something not seen on every base. They have medical professionals within the squadrons at DM to help victims when they need it. Then they start to build rapport and it breaks down some barriers so that they can actually feel more comfortable to seek support and help from them. McSally says the Pentagon has been extremely responsive since she asked them to form a task force. She expects to get a report within the next few weeks on how the Pentagon plans to help stop military sexual assault. Natalie Taranjoli, KGA 9, on your side.